It's been two years since Louis' first pheasant hunt. When you first saw him, he was terrible with obedience. Well, I'm happy to say you can watch and see how far he's come. Again, we are hunting an apprentice hunt held by the Fish and Wildlife Department. These hunts are great for beginning hunters and for beginning dogs. My two buddies will be joining us and hunting their second pheasant hunt ever with their dog Sandy. Come on and check it out. Well, we're all here. The people are starting to drive in slowly. My two dogs are too excited. But yeah, so uh, fishing game, we actually just talked to one of the uh, biologists, the uh, assistants out there. and. Uh, they said the turnout's probably not going to be, you know, that great, but the pheasants this year are going to be very, very prone to running. So not that great for uh, for pointing dogs, but the flushers should still, should be able to get in there. This should be their game right here. To get in there before the pheasants can run too far out. Um, we are excited, and you're hearing, uh, you're hearing Sandy right now. Last time we saw her, she was a chubby puppy. But this year, she's a little older, but she's she's gotten a little bit skinny. It'll be good. She's a very good retriever. We got English bloodline in her, just not that trained. So we're hoping that she gets another litter. And um, yeah, and maybe we'll end up taking a puppy too, since we started taking up a duck. Okay, okay, so the doggies are going. We're gonna get out of here. You'll see us when we, they give the safety talk. Did we get Sandy? Yeah, we got Sandy. Sandy. Hi, Sandy. So I'm sure by now you're wondering, how do these chumps get to hunt pheasants every dang year, especially for free? The big secret is actually on your hunter safety card. For any new hunters who've been certified in the last five years or so, there's a big clue. The department offers free hunts to those who are just joining us on their wild meat harvesting journey. As you can see here, the birds are released right before the hunt. This maximizes the chances of you getting a shot at one. Now don't get all excited and go running straight to the release truck. That's what everyone and their farm dog is gonna do. It's right there. <laughs> there are plenty of birds scattered in the area. Your best bet is to work the edge of the field where you won't be pressured to compete for birds with the other guys. That's the shot. Louis, stay! Louis! Sandy! Babe, Sandy's coming! Okay, so Sandy totally stole Penny's retrieve and then dropped the crippled bird, which escaped. But we'll forgive her for that because she's new to hunting and because she's adorable. Our first goal on this trip was just to get Penny on lots of birds. But because of bad positioning, we were unable to get another shot in. Eventually, we ran out of easy to get birds. That is where the white missile Louie makes his entrance. Now, this video is a couple years old, so at this point, Louis had not yet begun duck hunting. Up until now, his greatest passion was rooting out pheasants from this high grass. He really, really liked pheasant hunting. So, usually, Louis likes to range farther than Penny. And this actually works really well because Penny trails running birds even better than he does. This team works well because although these birds are planted, they still carry wild genetics, and some can be downright tricky. I've had them circle us, I've had them double back on us, and I've had them freeze in place until a dog literally grabs them. And of course, you've had them disappear. So, with this flusher team, we close in on the end of the alfalfa field. Now earlier I had mentioned that these pheasants were young and prone to running. This is because their tails had not fully grown in yet. This has caused many of the birds to run from the line of hunters and eventually pile up at the end of the field. It would have been easy enough to sluice them execution squad style, but in order for this to be sporting, we have the dogs, and this is where obedience and handling control really shines. Now you can see Louis' unfamiliarity with water. He had gone across a ditch full of water in order to retrieve this pheasant. 
and now he couldn't find his way back. These days, he'd have no issues now that he duck hunts. Also, note this car driving by. These guys just circled watching us, which is a really bad thing to do. However, it was good for us because the pheasants wouldn't go any farther, and so they piled up again and gave us a second shot to do exactly the same thing. We froze Louie and sent him in. learned how to resist temptation. For a little bit anyways. He's still not that great, but better than he was. As the birds were finally separated, they started flying, and the two guys got their limits real fast. With their limits filled, they decided to call it a day. But Miss Anchovy and I still had one more to fill my bag with. Of course, we took a detour and helped another hunter find a bird for herself. She had been there all day and hadn't got a shot at a single thing. Well, how many are you still looking for? Are you, do you have zero? I have zero. Okay. Uh, um, how, you did want... you want to hunt or did you want to like walk the edges or did you want to go through this stuff again? Uh, what about your partner? Were you? That's uh, that's my husband. Yeah. He's just okay. kind of here to support our son. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> well, let's get you. Uh, like, let's get you limited uh, out. Following around, seeing what's going up, what's yeah. going down. Okay. Let's walk uh, down this way. Okay. Let's go this way. Find a bird. It's injured. Louis! Good girl. Good girl! Yep, just grab it and... Yep, grab its neck. No, uh, no, she... She's... Grab it and spin it, yep. I uh, know she didn't even find it. Oh, did she find it? Or... I uh, know, I thought you found it. <laughs> yeah, she... Okay, woohoo! Woohoo, yeah! Good job, Penny, kinda. <laughs> Okay, to be honest, at the beginning, it was pretty darn easy. But now that most of the hunters had left, well actually, it got pretty darn tough. The thing is, these pheasants were very well hidden now. We had to think out of the box in order to get our last bird. We are just making it harder for ourselves. Yeah, I have quite a bit of them. Are you, are you sure okay? You got snacks? Yeah, I brought the peanuts. Yeah, let me know when you're ready. Get it, Didi. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, Didi. I get asked a lot by my buddies whether or not I like duck hunting more or pheasant hunting more. And to be really honest, I love pheasant hunting more. You don't want to know why? Because I get to see the dogs hunt with me and not just retrieve birds. And with that bird in the bag, even though I didn't shoot it, you know what? I am ready for this upcoming season. I can't wait to see the dogs hunt again with me. That's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We got our two birds here. They're lovely. This one's got some tail feathers going, but this one not so much. Puppies had a really good time today. It was pandemonium right at the beginning, but um, I actually uh, let Louie and Penny kind of uh, do some flushing for other people since the birds were running today. And uh, that's the power of the flushers, you know. The po I mean, oh, the pointers today, I'm not sure how many of them pointed. <laughs> a lot of them were trying to flush, so. Uh, but yeah, you know, the, uh, they say that uh, the pheasants Worst nightmare is a Springer Spaniel. You don't have a Springer, but you got a lab and a, got a lab and a cocker. 
and I think they did all right today. So they got in a lot of good flushing. Um, they kicked up the birds, you know, otherwise um, people had no choice but to like chase them around. It was kind of funny. It's like watching people chase around chickens. <laughs> really. But you know, once again, we want to thank the uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife for putting on this hunt. Um, there's uh, the Case family, the, the Lot Brothers uh, Farms. They let us use their, their food. There's still birds in there somewhere. So I want to thank them for putting this out there. Lots of birds, the kids, the juniors, uh, the families, the new hunters. We had two for new, new hunters with us today, and they limited it out too. So they limited out fast. And, you know, we helped we helped uh, another lady. Um, she got she got hers also with us. And then the pups hunt for her. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, uh, we're very happy and you know very thankful. Catch us next time. And that's it for now, guys. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. If you guys want to see more hunting content, I swear it is on the way. We are duck hunting this upcoming week. So expect more of that. Expect more cooking too, okay? Thanks, guys. Take care. And join us on more Catch and Eat adventures.